Hello, dear students. I am Samir Velankar. I welcome all of you to this fifth fifth video on functions in C. And uh, let's see what are the types of functions. <music> Now, basically, if you think of functions, functions can be broadly categorized into two types. Okay, those who know, I'm not talking about library functions and, and user-defined functions. I'm talking about the other type of category of functions. Functions can be categorized as functions which, which return a value. Return a value. And the other type of function is functions which functions which do not return a value do not return a value now you see that we wrote some in earlier videos we wrote a square function in the very first video in the third video we wrote max function we also had reciprocal function now recall all these functions you know used to return some answer like we wrote int square Check this. We wrote int square int x. I'm not writing the body of the function, what it does, but importantly, function returns int. So it is returning a value, isn't it? Or we wrote float reciprocal float reciprocal float x. So reciprocal is a function which returns a value, it returns float. But what if we write a function somewhat like this? Void check this word void let's say draw draw is the function and let's say float r r is the radius of the circle and the function has been written uh, we won't go into intricacies of what function does but what kind of function is draw you see draw is the name of the function and what is draw returning draw is returning void whenever a function has return type mentioned as void then that function is said to be not returning any value not returning a value by the way we have void is a dictionary word actually english dictionary word void literally means nothing i repeat void means nothing so what is draw returning draw is returning nothing in all these functions like square reciprocal you saw that typically the last line of the function is return like in reciprocal, we had return 1 upon x. In square, we had return x into x. Coming back to this draw, which is a void function, in such function, which is not returning any answer, you should not have a statement like return some value. You should not have this line. You should not write a statement called return. In fact, writing it will give an error because you are saying that draw will not return any value. Initially, you know, I have seen over the years that when I teach this to my students, often students question and get confused. Is that what kind of function is this? Uh, if a function doesn't return any answer, then what's the use? Because, you know, initially when we learn about functions, we get into the act. Uh, it, it fits in our mind that functions must calculate something and return some answer. In case I say that, I, I tell my friend that, hello, I wrote a function today which does not return any answer. Then then what kind of function is it? What What is the use? But strange, you will be surprised that the void functions, such functions which do not return any answer are very useful in programming. In fact, most of the times, most of the times you write a void function and very less times you write function which returns a value. Very strange, isn't it? So, we have seen the two categories and we will see more about this wide functions, why to write wide functions, in which situations you should write wide functions in C language. And I, I, I really tell you that it will be really very interesting discussion about wide functions in the later videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>